Uh, welcome to another review by Best Buy UK Tech Experts. Uh, my name's Wayne, and today I'm showing you the OWL Wireless Electricity Monitor. Now, what these actually do is they uh, monitor your electricity uh, to show you how much electricity you are using, uh, how much it's costing you, and also how much uh, carbon uh, you are generating. Now with the help of this, because it's monitors of the, all them things, uh, you can actually use these to help reduce your uh, electricity bills and also reduce greenhouse, uh, greenhouse sorry, gas emissions, uh, which helps save the environment. So all in all, these are absolutely excellent to, to own. Um, so what we're going to do now is going to show you what's we get inside the box and unbox it. So the box is well nice by the way, it tells you, you know, shows you different displays, tells you on the back and even gives you a couple of tips on how to uh, reduce electricity bills straight away. Like uh, say it's change your regular light bulbs to energy saving ones. Uh, boil only the water, amount of water you need in your kettle, which is what I do by the way, as, as well as all my light bulbs. Uh, and then it tells you about, yeah, you see, having stuff on standby, actually turn the stuff off. So, it tells you a bit more information. But So, in the box, you get the uh, a manual, which is uh, quite nice and detailed, which I'll actually show you in a minute. And you get a quick guide, which is uh, also nice. So, nice quick guide there. And now you actually get to the unit. So, the top part here is the, uh, the sender. Which is that. Now, with these, you actually plug them in uh, by your meter, which I'll show you. In a minute on how to set this up then this here is the, the receiver and display very nice it's all battery operated this by the way uh, you've got a nice little stand there you pull out it's the stand on there or if you wanted to it is wall mountable you put like a nail or screw something in the wall and you can hang it up so that's nice over here you get your little plug thing that actually plugs over to on one of your wires or your meter which I'll show you exactly how you do it and that plugs in to the transmitter now your transmitter also on the back here has a bracket so if I just pull it off so that's wall mountable as well then at the bottom which is very nice well wow, very nice it comes with all the batteries you need and these are actually energizers uh, the whole unit takes I believe six six double A batteries which is what they put in so there's everything you need in the box very nice as I said really good and now we're going to show you how to install it well then I'm down here now at my uh, my fuse board and we all got to install this so um, what you need to do first is uh, take off the uh, the wall mount undo the uh, screws and uh, need to install the batteries so So these are very easy to set up and uh, very useful. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do actually own one of these. It's not this particular mic. It is a different uh, mic. So uh, the other one I've got at the moment is very basic. This is uh, a lot more better. So it's very simple to install batteries, obviously. 
you've got several channels as well, so you can change the channels in case of interference. Then you can see it on camera over here. But uh, on a sticker, of channel two, which is what's been preset on. And just re screw the back on. Now, what I'm actually going to be doing myself later on is I'm actually going to be fixing this onto the wall, or uh, in my case, there's like a bit of wooden block here which I'll screw it to. And, uh, so, hopefully, once it's all once I screw it in, it's going to be about there, roughly. So, it's going to be really nice and neat. Well, what you do now is you, you get this uh, wire plug, which uh, you put onto the wire and plug it onto the unit. Uh, it makes no difference if you plug into unit first or around the wire first. But what do you do is if I just take off my holder. Alright, so get, put it onto your wire. It's usually the furthest away to your right. Uh, you can try it, plug it in. If you don't get no uh, signal going into the monitor, uh, obviously you have the long wire, so you just swap onto the, the next wire. But it is usually the furthest to the right. So Next you plug uh, the receiver in. Now you plug it into the middle because that's like uh, the channel it's been set on, which is channel 2. And uh, you hit the uh, reset button. Do you need a pin or something? Just hit that. Uh, I always do that anyway. Now, onto the transmitter again, you put in the batteries. Again, you don't have to screw this one off, it's just basically you pull off. All right, ever reset. So do what I say is reset. Now, what you do is you hit uh, the search button on the back on here and press check. So you press and hold check. And the light will flash, start flashing. And uh, as you can see, it's showing the display. It's come up. Now, what we need to do now is actually go through all the different menus and settings to set this up. And uh, it's quite uh, straightforward. And uh, I will next uh, show you what all the display doors. Right now, we're back upstairs now, and uh, after I showed you on how to install this. And uh, as you can see, it was pretty easy to install. Uh, now I've come upstairs, I've actually set the unit up itself, uh, which again was very easy to do, simple enough. Uh, I actually followed the uh, quick step guide, which is well laid out, very good uh, detailed quick start guide. Which, if I actually bring into camera, you might be able to see. It's both sides. It was, it was really simple and easy to set up. So, uh, just I recommend finding that guide. The actual menu itself is again it's well laid out. It, it covers more the advanced settings you can go into. So, uh, it might be worth looking into the advanced settings if you want to set the advanced settings up. But uh, the quick starter guide is really good to get you off and running. The thing I like about this menu is on the back is it's a, our 10 step plan uh, which if you follow these 10 steps it will help save electricity which will obviously help save your money and help save the environment because you will cut down on the greenhouse gas and emissions and carbon stuff it cuts all that stuff down so uh, what I'm going to do is now is I'm actually going to show you the display and uh, give you a one through it. Well, so on the top here, you've got the cost. 
Now the cost is tell me how much you know, electricity I'm using right here right now. Sorry, um, how much it's cost me not electricity? How much it's cost me to to all my stuff while I've got on at the moment. Uh, down here you got another display to tell me the total. Now total means is how much it's cost me in total. So on the bit here you got the uh, time and date which is set up in the settings, your temperature, uh, your tariff, so it tells you what tariff you're on. So you can uh, select your different tariffs and your channel down the bottom which if you remember in the uh, setup downstairs I, I showed you the uh, switch so you can go from channel 1, 2 or 3 uh, you might as well just leave it as default which is what I've done uh, obviously if you do find some interference change the channel but uh, I've found no need to so that's the cost now if I hit the mode button which is just here I'll time it now onto the energy menu display. Now this tells me how much energy I'm using at the moment. Now down here it shows me the total energy, which I'll go explain a bit more about this window bit here in a minute. But uh, if I hit the uh, mode again, I'll time me now onto the greenhouse gas. So that's the amount I'm producing at the moment. And again, it shows you the total at the bottom. Uh, if you hit mode again, go back to cost. Obviously, I've already explained what a cost is. It tells me how much oh, it's cost me to run stuff in my house. But now, if I hit the adjust, this will change this bottom bit here. Now, this was showing me now this day. So, this is telling me how much it's cost me to run so far this day. Now, if I hit it again, it's going to show me last day costs, uh, this week cost, last week cost, uh, last month, this month, this quarter, last quarter, this year and last year. So uh, you can monitor you know, throughout the year on how much this cost yeah, basically. Now, if I change the mode again to electricity again it shows me total and I can hit through and it's going to give me them same menus, so like this day, last day, uh, this week, last week, this month, last month, this year, yeah, and so on. So it gives me the same. So yeah, your energy, your gas house, so your greenhouse gas uh, emissions, you can monitor all that for all of the year by selecting the top one, which is using your mouse, select your cost, energy, or greenhouse gas. And hit adjust to change the bottom menu to you know go through oh, this day last day this month last month this quarter last quarter this year last year so really nice feature obviously as i've already said you can set the advanced settings up so you can set up all kinds of alarms and all that but uh, i definitely recommend you using the quick guide as i've already said to get you off and running and have a play around with the advanced settings later on if you so wish. So overall, I think this is a really good uh, big kit to have in your house uh, because it does help you save money. Uh, for the example, if I just turn this around a bit more, so I really want you to see this. Right. Now, uh, mind the cost there now. Behind me, I've got me. TV plugged in, my monitor plugged into my PC. Uh, I've got my PC plugged in, but it is switched off. Uh, I've got my Skybox and I've got my Sony Blu ray DVD player. Now they are all on standby. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the power off at the plug. Now watch the display. The display is showing 4226, right? That's how much it's cost me. So turn the power off and voila it's instantly dropped down to 3.719 so that just shows you by turning stuff off at your plug instead of having them on standby saves you a lot of money and uh, i definitely recommending the owl wireless electricity monitor so 
hope this has been useful to you and uh, until the next time I will see you later.